Welcome to Boomhauer 69's channel and today Boomhauer is going to show a knife that a fan sent me. This was a knife they they bought and they sent it to me. Um, it's a Victoria Knot Swiss Army knife right here and I want to take the time to the fan who sent me this knife. I want to take the time to thank you very kindly. Um, it's um the knife was according to the receipt was twenty eight dollars. Winners and want to take the time to thank the fan who who bought this and sent it to me. I thank you very much for it. I do appreciate you sending me this. I I thought it was really cool. This is the first time a fan's ever sent me anything, so I want to say thank you very much to that fan who sent me this. I truly, duly, I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And so, let's get right to the knife. It's a Victoria Knot Swiss Army Knife. Um, this was bought in that Red Hill Culture Tree. Um, it's a company in Kentucky. I did some research on the company before this video. And basically, from my research here, I'll try to show that again so you can all see the... Oh, but there's what it is. They call it the Victoria Knot Shark Mouth Tinker. Basically, what this company does is they take a, from my understanding, they take a standard like Victoria Knox knife and they customize it with like a cool picture on it and they, you know, add some artwork to it. So basically, this is just the Victoria Knox Tinkerer. If you know what the Victoria, Victoria Knox Tinkerer is, then you'll know what this knife is and they just basically customized it. Without further ado, let's show what it is. Now this is a knife that I'm not going to actually use because I don't want to ruin the paint scheme on it, but I'm going to put it on display when I get my display case built. But there you go, there's what it is. What I think is cool about this knife is it, it reminds me of the old World War II airplanes and stuff that I used to see in the history videos where they painted like shark's mouth on the front of them and stuff and and I also like it because it's got green on it and green is my favorite color there's the Victoria Notch logo painted on it but they call it the shark mouth tinkerer it's made by Red Hill Culture. Here's what the knife has on it. It's a Scotch or standard or baked knife blade. Here's a piece of paper to show you how sharp it is. But look at that. That's why I love Victoria Knoxes. They come nice and sharp. I'll show you in a piece of here's a piece here's the cardboard box that came in. And Really nice, clean cut there. Um, here's some plastic too. But, yeah. Nice, clean cut plastic. And that's what I love about Victoria Nostris. They come sharp, but here's what it, the knife blade looks like. It's just a standard Victoria Knox knife that they customized it with a picture on it. <clears throat> It. So all it is is again the Victoria Notch Tinker. Here, there's the small blade knife, the small blade that they have on it. Here's a close up of the small blade. So it's just the Victoria Notch Tinkerer painted with a custom picture on it, which I think is really cool. Here's the bottle opener and can opener. That's on the Tinkerer. Then it also comes with a Phillips head screwdriver. There's the Phillips head screwdriver. Break out the But there's the Phillips head screwdriver. 
Right? And it also comes with a little thread and needle pit there. That's what I was trying to pull out earlier. But everything that the Tinker comes with comes with the the little pick. And of course it also has your little keychain loop there for if you want to hook it onto a keychain. Now the price for this was total $28 on their website, the Red Hill Culture. It was $28, but there you have it. There's the um, Victoria Knox. They call it Shark Mouth Tinker made by Red Hill Culture. I'll put links in the description where you can get this knife if you would like to purchase it. But I got to say, this is truly amazing. I like how they did it. I'm glad they added the Victoria Knox logo to it. And I like it simply because it reminds me of old World War II airplanes and the fact that it's green. That's my... Green is my favorite color, so that's what I, I like about it, and it's really cool. It's got that kind of typical World War II kind of, to me, theme to it, and I think it's really cool. Obviously, this, I don't know if this is a limited edition thing. Are they going to, the company going to make a bunch of these and keep selling them, or what the case may be? So, if you want one of these, I would suggest going to the website and getting them while they still have them in stock stock because I don't know how long this company will continue making these but there's the information you'll also find the link to their website in the description below I'll make sure to put that and to the fan that sent me this I want to thank you very much for sending this to me I truly do appreciate it I think it's a cool awesome knife and I, I all the way around I like Victorian auctions they're they're a good quality brand when you get one of the knives, you know it's going to last. You know it's not going to break when you're using it out in the field or anything. And and I think this is cool. I'm, and the company that does this, now I don't know how they do this. I don't know if they just hand painted it on or did they use some sort of like fancy like laser printer or something and put the picture on it. Or But either way, I think it's a cool knife and will definitely be going on display if I decide to ever build a display case for my knife collection but on all I, I really like it I think it's a cool knife if you like this sort of content hit that red subscribe button down below because that's going to help Boomhauer69 in being able to do this sort of content and stuff and don't forget to share this video with everyone you know because that's also going to help Boomhauer69 in being able to do this content Comment below your thoughts. Did you think this was a good video? Bad video? Whatever. Comment your thoughts below what you thought of this video. If you like this knife, what did you think of it? Did you think it was cool? Whatever. You know, comment below. And again, I'll put links in the description where you can get this, this um, knife. I'll put the um, company's website in the description down below. Hope you all have a good day. Thank you for watching Boomhauer69's channel.